Ross, you have the next story, and I have to just put my personal investment stamp on it. It might be my favorite story of the month. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, listen to this. Okay, who here has spent time or energy worrying about what someone else might be thinking about you? Anybody guilty about that? Well, if you're one of those people like us, I have good news for you. Psychology Today reports: Hey, no one is thinking about you. <laughs> We suffer so much worrying about what other people think, but experts say we chronically overestimate how much they think about us. And we always think it's like way harsher than what people are actually thinking. Researchers have studied this. Uh, Erica Booth calls it the likability gap. Studies show if you pair two people for a conversation afterwards, they always think the other person was more interesting than that person probably found them. Think about that. How many times after a date or a meeting, you're in the car, or the train, you're thinking like, why did I say that? They probably think I'm an idiot. Why did I? And that person's just thinking like, what's for lunch? You know, they're not yes. thinking about you. Yes, and I'm someone who really goes for it. I go for a lot of jokes and I'm kind of like a big personality. So sometimes I really have those, oh my God, like what did I just do moments? Uh -huh. But the calming, soothing humility to hear from Psychology Today, a renowned medical journal periodical, that people are not sitting there obsessing about you the way you're obsessing about them obsessing about you. Yes. This is such good news. Uh -huh. It's like, forget about it. Yeah, I actually loved this motion. Ah. <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. All right, well, next up, we love to uh, take brand new products for a spin. And today we've got one, and these are from your suggestions that you write in. It's time for Drew's reviews. Hey. Hi. All right, today's review is suggested from none other than Paula Rose. Thank you, Paula. We're trying the cheeseburger burrito from the mad food scientists at Trader Joe's. So it's apparently the perfect marriage between two foods, the burrito and the cheeseburger. Yeah, I'm holding a burrito, but it smells like secret sauce from a hamburger. You know what I'm talking? Like that Thousand Island pickly, beefy, cheesy, yas. Well, yes. Should, we, should we try it? Yeah, cheers. 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 Oh. Oh my God. You know what it tastes like? A cheeseburger burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because I'm getting all the goodness of the cheeseburger, um, like, forward. You know how it's like bun and condiments and then you get to the meat? Oh, yeah. This is like almost working the inside out. Like it's burger That's first, exactly what it's then doing. cheese, and then a little bit of like that floury dough you want, yes. but not too much. Trader Joe's, you've done it again. You did it again. Well, it's time to rate it, Rossi. How many stars out of five do you give it? One, two, three, four, five stars, Trader Joe's. And I second that with five stars. Oh my Thanks, goodness, Paula. I love it.